Good morning, everyone. Now I am going to discuss a problem. It is very important. If the function f of z is analytic function, then it must be satisfies the Laplace equation. Generally, the function of complex variable can be expressed as u plus i v. In the u and v both are functions of x and y. u is said to be the real part of the f of z. v is said to be the imaginary part of f of z. And what is the analytic means? It satisfies the Cartes-Riemann equation. The Cartes-Riemann equations means those u and v partial derivatives or satisfies two equations. Those are dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y, dou u by dou y equal to minus dou v by dou x. Okay. If two equations are satisfies any function, then that is analytic and it is continuous also. Okay. Here we can prove that such function is satisfies Laplace equations. We know that Laplace equations means del square pi or equal to 0. That is nothing but pi is any function. What is del square? Dou square by dou x square. That is nothing but if the del square operator is operating with any scalar, then that is nothing but dou square pi by dou x square plus dou square pi by dou y square equal to 0. Okay. If the two u and v functions are satisfies that Laplace equations, then every analytic function is satisfies the Laplace equations. Okay. Now, I am taking the problem or theorem statement show that both real and imaginary parts of real and imaginary parts of an analytic function satisfies Laplace's equations that is nothing but harmonic function. When the function is satisfies the Laplace's equation, then that function is called as harmonic. It is very very important solution. Show that both real and imaginary parts of an analytic function. That is nothing but let we are taking f of z. It is the function of the complex variable. It can be expressed as u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y b an analytic. Okay. We can take this is an analytic function. What we can prove that it satisfies to show that f of z means the real and imaginary parts u of x comma y and v of x comma y satisfies Laplace's equation. That is nothing but dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square equal to 0 and dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square equal to 0. We have to show that these two equations must be equal to 0 
for real and imaginary parts of f of z. Here clearly, here u of x comma y is equal to real part of f of z v of x comma y equal to imaginary part of f of z okay then to show that both real and imaginary parts of analytic function means f of z is analytic in this real part is u imaginary part is v we have to show that u and v both Satisfies the Laplace's equations means U is satisfies the Laplace condition, V is satisfies the Laplace condition. But we have F of Z is an analytic. It is an analytic function. That is dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x dou u by dou y equal to minus dou v by dou x. Let it be equation 1, it is equation 2. Equation 1 is differentiating with respect to x. Then, dou square u by dou x square is equal to dou square v by dou x dou y. Dou square u by dou x square equal to here dou square v by dou x dou y. This equation 1 is differentiating with respect to x. Equation 2 is... differentiating with respect to y. Then it is dou square u by dou y square is equal to minus dou square v by dou y dou x. Okay. Adding of these two, let it be equation 3 and it is equation 4. Adding Equation 3 and 4, we get dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to dou square v by dou x dou y minus dou square v by dou y dou x. We know that dou square v by dou y dou x is equal to dou square v by dou x dou y. The interchanging of partial derivatives or no effect to the terms. So, these two must be cancelled. Therefore, dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square. Therefore, the real part of f of z, the real part of f of z satisfies Laplace equation. Okay. The similarly, V is also satisfies the Laplace equation. Here, Again, equation 1 is differentiating with respect to y. Equation 1 is differentiating with respect to y. Then, dou v by dou square u by dou y dou x equal to 
dou square v by dou y square. Let it be equation 5. And the equation 2 is differentiating with respect to x. Then it is dou square u by dou x dou y is equal to minus dou square v by dou x square. From this, both sides multiplying with minus, then it is minus dou square u by dou x dou y is equal to dou square v by dou y square. It is equation 6. Okay? Adding 5 and 6 equations. Then we get Left hand side is dou square u by dou y dou x minus dou square u by dou x dou y equal to right hand side is dou square v by dou y square plus dou square v by dou x square. Here these two are get cancelled. So dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0 since dou square u by dou x dou y equal to dou square u by dou y dou x. If both will get cancelled, why? Because those two are having the opposite signs. So v is also that is nothing but v of x comma y is an imaginary part of imaginary part of f of z satisfies the Laplace equation Hence, real and imaginary parts of f of z, that is nothing but real and imaginary parts of any analytic function satisfies the Laplace equation. It is the proof or show that that function, any function is it analytic and then it must be satisfies the Laplace's equation. Okay. If you like this video, Please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Okay, thank you.